Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon God and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us about 20 miles south of downtown L.A. at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they come in pretty desperate here for a win as they've started the year 0-5. And, and it seems way too early to start talking about hot seats, but guess what? When a team is 0-5, people start wondering about their jobs. Season, and we are underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded at the 8. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by the former Texas Tech Red Raider and quarterback, it's Nick Shemenick. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workman-like in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on some other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Andrew Billings able to record his fifth sack of the season. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. After the sack on first down, Shemenek. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Now Shemenek. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And yeah, it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pre-game. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. 58, right there. Mike, 58, right there. Hey, we heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. We go. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. All-star offense. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Carson. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. I know the scouting report on him is that he didn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. 
The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is caught. It's Parker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Now it's Carson. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Darius Phylon there on the tackle. We got three, we got three, baby, we got three. Brings up second and nine. At the on the delay, here's Carson. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Gotta give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Here's the second-year man from San Diego State, Rashad Penny. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, look now at our starting defense. They come into this one way down at number 23 against the run of the NFL. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball if they don't get things done early. Deep rip, deep rip. On second down, here's Penny. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Set 18, Gator. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Check 50, check 50. Ready, ready. Shemadek steps away. He can run for it and he will. Big yardage there on the scramble and it gets him a first down. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner but enough there in the tank. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Rashad Penny, and he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. A look at the numbers from Penny last week. 12 carries, 65 yards. And well liked by his teammates. In fact, I got a good authority, even though I'm not an investigative reporter, that in their team meeting this week, the offensive line stood up and said, Coach, we've got to have better yardage for this guy. He's number nine in the league. He's got to be in the top three before the season's over. Let's run the ball. Now here's Inman bringing in the pass. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 34-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Ready. Oh. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Back to throw, shimming it. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Sheminick to throw it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. 
They're throwing here. Sheminick rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. When they watch film of this game and hand out the great sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Here we go, here we go. 60 pitch first. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Let's go. Shoot. Now a first carry for Donnell Pumphrey. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. On the draw, this is Penny. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 yards on the play, first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Come on, set, 70, Indy. Here, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come, punt. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Down. Now from the nine, here's four. second and goal. To throw is Shemitev. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it third and goal. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second and goal, and Penny standing by himself in the backfield. Target, target, target. He'll get it up the middle. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 
We're scoreless after one. Charger football to start quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And his kick here is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So you're a boxing guy. How do you score that on your boxing card? A very long drive with three points. And I really want to do my boxing analyst voice right here, but I'm going to keep it normal for us, <laughs> right? I call it a draw. That type of a drive has to feel good, right? You take it all the way downfield. You control the ball, control the clock. But they only got three points out of it. So defensively, it could have been worse, right? So I give it a draw. Let's go, Let's go. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave it with a second and three. Allen now on the option right. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Somebody's play class. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. An extra quarterback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. From the gun, it's Allen. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Chargers to take over. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. Here we go. 18 Gator. Six man. Check curl. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Second and six. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. They run with Pumphrey. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, Mike, number 53. Second and five. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. He can run for it, and he will. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. 
They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback. But sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. They run it with Carson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because what? officials what? always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. They go play action here on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Pryor has it complete. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The Charger drive about to get going. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Mike Allen off the play fake. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen now looks to throw. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The end result, 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Thompson. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. He's tackled at the 40 Draw play. This is Carson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. They'll toss it out to Carson. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more, because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. They'll run on first down. Thompson. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. 
We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a play fake here on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Allen again here on second and ten. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And Bart, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. He's going to get this to Austin complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Allen to throw once more. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Chris Thompson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here in the week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors and some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about 1,000 yards either. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now shimming it. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Back now comes the offense. Madden spotlight time as we shine it on Josh Allen. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What, what's that Why? route you love? What's that oh, route you love? Four, four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. He gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. Pitch and catch complete to Hireman. And he'll get it up near the 35, yeah, right at the 34 cool. here. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Allen, and he fires one incomplete. 
He was looking to get it to Parker again. Third down here. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight to throw a talent. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Shimonet. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Got an open man. It's Scott. On the ball, on the ball, come on. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth. Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Steelers to take over on offense. They've dropped five straight coming in, so right now cherishing this lead, and they've got the football as well, first and 10. On first down, Allen. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. This is Carson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run the counter. It's Moore. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. On second and 11 now. Allen throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the target there, and it's third down. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Allen, he's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 13-yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. On play action, Allen. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Geronimo Allison, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try to get back to where you were to start the half. On second and nine, Shemanek. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down. First down to the 37. To throw is Shimonik. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Dontrell Inman, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll run with Penny. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Shemenik to throw it. He may try and run for this. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 and the 36. It's a pickup of five. Brings up second down. Brings up second and five. From the 36, Shimanek. And his throw's going to be incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Shimanek. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Two yards on the pickup. It's second 
from the 44. Allen, and this is Parker, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 yards on the play, first down. Allen now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Play action, now it's Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Tavon Austin, but it'll be second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run with Thompson. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Allen off the play fake. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here we go. On first down, Carson. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Here we go. Two Here we more go. there and another first down. First and goal at the two-yard line. They'll try to run with Carson. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler oh, yeah, touchdown. Cool. That's how you score. Chris Carson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 8. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of the team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Penny, a first down carry. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On second down and four, Shemenek caught. It's Dontrell Inman. A gain of 13. It's a first down. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They'll run with Penny here out of the shotgun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Let's go, dude. From the 25 on second down. Shemenek. He finds his man. That's Sweeney. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They're throwing here, Sheminick. And that will be caught. It's Inman for the Charger touchdown. Dontrell Inman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers are able to close the gap just a bit. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. Oh, 
It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got it complete to Thompson. No gain at all on the play there, and that'll bring up fourth down. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. Step. They begin with a run by Penny. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they'll run it again with Penny. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw. It's hauled in here by Edmund. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 yards on that one and a Charger first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Andrew Billings in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now Shemini. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Watch the run, watch the run. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. In not able to bring it in. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This is Penny. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Looking to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield. And you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. 
Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Allen again here on second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. The veteran tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Throwing his Allen on third. Completes it to Austin. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got to completion, just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there. Kick it. Put it through the post. Go up two scores. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Shemadek on the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away from 19 with his legs and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He'll look to throw. It's caught, Mitchell. That throw good for four. Good second down. Throwing again on second down. Shimanek. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Malcolm Brown at three bills and some change comes in to drop the hammer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And it's now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when the next defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. On second and a couple. Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the intended target, and it's third and short. A big play, third and two. This crowd dying for a stop. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got Thompson here, complete. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. Mike. 59. 59. Watch the slack. Watch the slack. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Allen fakes the give and keeps himself. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. 
Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when Still a pass is down. thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Now in third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He'll have a first down past the 40, and all the way up to the 46. Let's go, Let's go. That catch puts him right at 100 yards receiving now, and it also gives him a first down. On first down, Carson. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On second down. It's Thompson, and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Mike, Mike, 319. What we got? What we got? We got. First down, Pittsburgh. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man, the tight end fouls. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On the ground, it's Thompson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Allen from the gun on third down. And it's caught by Parker. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They run again with Carson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Throwing now is Allen. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Sanders' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over course for baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in the three, game. Yeah, about the four in the four game. Four times 162. Three or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for Pushing a guy to get going. That's Nothing my point. Pass, it's not the first defense. few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. Back to throw, shimmin' it. Got an open man, it's Scott. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. 
And his throw here is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Sheminick to throw it. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They're throwing here. Sheminick. He's able to find Edmund. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Five. To throw is Sheminick. Caught. It's Dontrell Enman. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll set up a throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tyrone Crawford in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. To try again after the sack. Shimanek, and he takes it in for a charger touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year as his guys are back within a single score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. They're going to try and run, but he will not get in here. He's stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. The clock showing 19 seconds to go. And it's the Steelers that come up with it. And that should just about do it. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They My had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. They go down to a knee and a sigh of relief as they are into the win column for the first time this year. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Steelers, it'll be a much happier locker room here as they get that first win after five straight losses to start the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the home team here, the losses are piling up as they drop to one and five now. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.